Prosecutors say he killed two people in a crash last November in Milwaukee. And tomorrow, the 17-year-old defendant is expected to enter a plea. Our Sam Kramer joins us live. And Sam, you spoke with the family of the victims who say they are still waiting to heal. Yeah, hi there, Mary. And they said they cannot heal until they get that justice. Tonight, a sister of one of the victims in this case opens up about what the last seven months have been like, all because of a crash caused by someone who prosecutors say shouldn't have been driving. I'm still trying to adjust to everything because he was the baby. Inside her Milwaukee apartment, photos and memories are all Erica Crooms has left of her brother Aaron. He was over here every day. I'm used to seeing him talking to him, him just texting the regular stuff, but it's hard. I'm trying to adapt to the new life without him. Last November, the 20 year old was riding passenger with his girlfriend, 22 year old Nikayla Evans, when prosecutors say an SUV slammed into their car near Tetonia and Villard. Crooms and Evans died on scene. Police say they saw the driver of the SUV run away on surveillance video. And then instead of staying or trying to help, he flees. Milwaukee police arrested then 16 year old Caden Foster a few days later. The criminal complaint says Foster didn't have a driver's license. Police determined the SUV he crashed was stolen and used data from the vehicle to show he was driving 69 miles per hour at the time of the crash. The posted speed limit is 35. You could think it's fun for now. But it could be the simplest mistake that could cost you your freedom or your life and someone else's. It's not fair. Now, Crooms hopes the courts will hold him accountable for the losses felt by two families since that November night. He can still talk to his mom and family. They could still come and see him time to time. Us, we don't get that. We don't get a second chance at that. Now, Foster, who is now 17 years old, is charged as an adult in this case. His arraignment is set for tomorrow morning at 8.30. We're live outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. All right, Sam, thank you.